Sky Pagoda or Temple Wat Chelem Prekeat was on my bucket list for a few years. The trip to Chiang Mai for the Kraton Festival or Festival of Light that you could watch on my previous videos, I used it as a chance to create a Lampan loop and visit few remarkable places on the way. The first one is Muan Kun Cave. You need to climb 180 steps Naga Staircase before reaching the entrance to the cave. Inside, there are large caves on two floors with an impressive height, especially on the low level. There is a winding concrete pathway along the curving floor, with dozens of little shrines that have been erected over the decades. Muankon caves are filled with beautiful stalactites and stalagmites. The biggest one is 10 meters high and 3 meters in diameter. It's a Buddhist relic formed by nature and considered as a sacred item of the cave. The caverns are sacred to the Buddha, legendary the first visitor of the caves. During his visit, the resident Naga Sopan demon disturbed his meditation by taking human form and presenting offerings. He asked for royal hair of the Buddha and placed it in the cave for worshipping. There is a staircase near the entrance to the cave and it looked quite promising and a relaxing walk to the top of the hill. But it's not. 600 plus steps always going up tend to be very tiring. Reaching the top there is a chedi and a monk doing his spiritual duty. steps up and finally rewarding 360 view on the rolling mountains and hills below. Kampon village is located along a valley with both sides of the local creek surrounded by mountains, coffee and tea plantations, abandoned waterfalls and forests. Local Thais love visiting Maya Kampon because it has cool weather all year round due to its location 1,300 meters above sea level. When Maya Kampon began to develop as an ecotourism village, Residents set up a homestay scheme which has proved to be a major success. There are currently more than 20 homestay properties in Maya Kampon. The numbers are limited and they all have to meet official standards set by Thailand's Department of Tourism.
There are numerous unique restaurants and cafes around the village. One of them is the Gian Top Tree Cafe. It's a coffee place and restaurant, sitting on a massive sprawling banyan tree, is literally the root and support of the tree house. Two suspended bridges cross the wilderness and connect to a large lofted platform constructed around the ancient looking trees. The surrounding rainforest casts a cool shade over the entire cafe, and the views of the rolling hills, jungle and greenery are incredible. The food menu is limited, but does the trick if you are looking for a quick fix. Maya Kampon is a 100-year-old village of 132 households, with a total population of around 400 people. The main occupation of the locals are the tea and coffee cultivation. Villagers are able to have tea leaves up to five times a year. Another unique cafe, the Du Cafe, set in the leafy jungles by a creek and connected to the road by a suspension bridge. Maya Kampon waterfall is the origin of the creek that runs through the village. Seven levels in height, it's situated at the far end of the village and offers clear cold water and banks covered in ferns and moss. The steep road continues through the forest into Chai Son National Park on the way to homestay where I'm going to spend the night. Floating Sky Pagodas or Wat Cholom Prekiat is an exceptional place and is a spectacle unlike anywhere else in Thailand, with golden and white pagodas scattered atop peaks and up on precipices. Once arriving to the base on the mountain, it requires to take a taxi to the top, as the road is rough and steep and it's not allowed to drive yourself. And now, the most enjoyable part to walk 540 meters always up to reach the peaks. Be ready to have enough water and to sweat even more than drink. Over 16 years ago, a revered Lampang monk led the church and a team of 46 walkers spent in two years carrying bricks, mortar, cement and every piece of the temple up to the mountain, each and every day until its completion. It was built to commemorate the 200th anniversary of King Ram of Foz. Finally, getting to the top of the mountain, there are two ways to get to the peaks. On the 
left side there is a staircase to climb up to a small wooden pavilion, with an amazing view to glistering stupas on sharp mountain tops and the rolling Tung Tung Valley below. On the other side, there is another peak to explore, with a small chedi on the top. Getting back down to taxi park, there is a small cave with an alleged Buddha footprint. When leaving the site, the mountain was getting cloudy. I appreciate it to let me see it in the full glory. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe, and hit notification bell button, not to miss any further updates on my travel in Thailand, a nation.